Good evening, Europe. Welcome to this Euro interview. Today we are with Kaya Rode, one of the 12 finalists of Melody Grand Prix 2021. Hey, Kaya, how are you doing? Hi, thank you. I'm fine. First of all, are you excited for the grand final? I'm really excited and a little bit nervous, but, but I'm most excited. And the first part of the interview will be dedicated to Melody Grand Prix. And how it was the process of participating of Melody Grand Prix? Did you have this song written before or was it made for the contest? Uh, Feel Again was made for MGP. Uh, I was contacted by the NRK who wanted me to try it out. And mm -hmm. uh, shortly after, I got the song. Last January the 25th, we saw your amazing performance of Feel Again. Are we going to see the same staging in the final or you have something new or any surprises? Uh, it will be some changes with the uh, lightning, mm -hmm. uh, lighting and uh, camera angles. Not so much uh, with the dance, maybe some other moves, I think, yeah. Have you heard some other songs of Melody Grand Prix? Do you have any favorites or something like that? Yes, I really like uh, Voila from France. Mm -hmm. Have you heard it, Voila? Yeah, of course, yes, yeah. the, France, uh, the French one, I love it. Yeah, it's really cool. What would be the first thing you do if you win MGP? Oh my God, uh, of course I will celebrate uh, with my friends uh, and uh, chill for a moment and then I will sing a lot. <laughs> with this corona thing, everything has changed and of course performances did too. How are you feeling with an empty audience in the contest? It's really sad. Uh, but we have uh, we have done the best we can and made something exciting, even though we're dealing with Corona. And uh, I'm really happy that we're able to sing and perform uh, at MGP anyhow. And, and it's good to know that so many people at home are uh, supporting and cheering us mm -hmm. on. Um, if you manage to represent Norway at the Eurovision, will you maintain Feel Again as it was written or will you change something in the song? It depends if we're going to uh, Rotterdam, then I think we will do some changes. But uh, if it's not possible, uh, we will uh, in make a new uh, video from uh, a live uh, performance that hasn't been shown in Norway and then send mm -hmm. it. Uh, last year, Ulrike Brandstorp won the Melody Grand Prix, but unfortunately she couldn't perform on Rotterdam. Would you like to send her some words or say something regarding this? I actually just spoke to her on Instagram. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, she she released a new song, uh, and it's so cool. So I just had to tell her. But yeah, I really love attention as well, and uh, can't wait to meet her tomorrow. Let's go about to the second part of the interview. More about to get to know you. For beginning, tell us a random fact about you or something we don't know. Oh, that's so hard. Fun facts. <laughs> well, um, I don't know. Maybe I can I can juggle. You mm -hmm. know. Yes. With, yeah, <laughs> juggle. Amazing. I, I, I personally do. I can't do that. Yes, I have uh, some tricks here I can do. Oh yes, try. <laughs> Let's go. I'll do my best. Okay, maybe now I'll fail <laughs> because I said I can do it. But uh, I've been practicing practicing since I was uh, a kid. <laughs> Math is re really fun. Can you do it? Uh, I can't. I haven't Let's ability do. enough. Let's do it. Okay. okay. <laughs> I can even go in circles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Would you sing a little part of your song? Okay, I will sing a part from Feel Again. Okay. And the storm never ends. You can run, but where do you hide? In the night, there's a void in my chest. But tonight, I'm alive. I've been waiting for two. I'm not afraid to feel again. Feel again, had it in me all along. I'm not afraid to feel again, feel again. <laughs> um, you took part on The Voice Norway 2017. How it was the experience? Oh, it was an amazing experience. Uh, all four mentors uh, turned their chair on me, so crazy. <laughs> Uh, and an honor, of course, uh, and it absolutely made me want to sing uh, more. 
do you watch the Eurovision every year? I watched it uh, several times and I remember uh, Alexander Rybak won uh, with Fairy Tale in 2009. I was only 11 years old, I think. Uh, and actually, I joined his TikTok challenge yesterday. Uh, he's singing uh, Fairy Tale, if you have seen it on TikTok. Yes, yes, I saw it. I and, saw it. Uh, and he shared it on Instagram. So that was really cool. Which are your favorite song of the Eurovision? And your, which one is your favorite from Norway? Uh, all over, I think, uh, Arcade from uh, 2009. Oh, lovely. So in nine, nine, 2019, I, I mean. Uh, uh, was uh, really, really good. And, and it still is. Uh, and from Norway, it must be Attention from last year and Fairy Tale. Yeah. Attention was my winner last year. Yeah, Attention. Yes. Have you tried to represent Norway or have you thought to represent Norway at Eurovision in the past? No, actually not. And I don't know why. I think I think I needed a kick in the butt, as we say in Norway. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you represent this Saturday in Norway because you personally are my favorite from this selection. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Kaya Rode, thank you for this interview. Good luck on Saturday. And so you're going to do an amazing performance of it again. Thank you so much. Uh, that's all for today. You can follow Kaya on Instagram and TikTok. Also, you can stream Feel Again on Spotify. All links are in the description below. See you.